So after you're signed in, you want to go ahead and hit the Create Droplet button, which will give you all of the options available to setting up your droplet. Now, DigitalOcean gives you the ability to choose the size of your droplet, shows you the cost. You can then go ahead and choose your location, etc, etc. So let's go ahead and just fill out all of this information as we normally would. So I'm going to call this uh, Server Test. I'm not, that's the host name I'm going to give this. And as I mentioned just a moment ago, here are the different options you've got for choosing a droplet. So the cost here says £5 monthly or 0 0.007 hourly. So I'm happy with that. This is just a test uh, account or test droplet. So the region is important based on where you think your um, users or your, the majority of your users are going to be. So you can avoid as much latency as possible. So, you, of course, you can use a content delivery network, but that's beyond the scope of this tutorial. So for now, I'm just going to choose New York. It's set as the default. So what you can now do is go ahead and choose a Linux distribution. Now, we'll stick with Ubuntu and we'll leave the default version as well. Now, it's entirely up to you what you choose, but make sure that if you're making a different selection, you understand why you're doing so. Now, you could technically end the video here and choose a... Uh, LAMP stack on Ubuntu here like it would just you know mean that you wouldn't have to follow the rest of the tutorial however if you're interested and understand how to take each step to set your server up uh, then carry on and it's probably a good idea to do so because it's a good idea to understand how to work with your server a bit better we'll also be covering uh, SSH which is extremely important so it's a, probably another good reason to follow the video so we're nearly done. All we need to do is just scroll down and hit create droplet. And that now creates the droplet. So it takes roughly 60 seconds, usually less. And basically what will happen is once the droplet's been created, we'll receive an email with the root uh, account password. So what we can then do is go ahead and with the IP address, start SSHing into the server which we'll look at next.